What's up, guys? It's Chris from Yu-Gi-Oh! Memes. Um, yeah, so, like, a lot of people have been wondering about, like, the deck that I'm running right now. And, like, well, pretty much I'm running Fire Fists. So, yeah, here's my deck profile. People have been wanting to know how I run it and, like, stuff that I choose to run. Because, late, cause, like, people know my build because it's weird. But, lately, I've really been winning a lot with this deck. So, like... I know locals isn't a big deal, but like I won my locals tournament, but that's whatever. But this is a deck I'm most likely gonna take to Anaheim Regionals this month, so look out for that. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So Fire Fist running Triple Bear, um, that lack of synergy, um, yeah. So shit, stupid focus. Yeah, Triple Bear. Um, Triple Bear is just amazing in this deck. So expensive right now for some reason, but yeah, that's bear. Um, I main deck Double Tengu. Because like I love Tengu in this deck, and being able being able to combo Tengu with like torrentials and stuff like that, he's amazing. And then like a lot of times like if Tengu will be a floater, and you can exceed with them later. So I, I like Tengu as a card. I've always there's I've always wanted to run Tengu in a deck, and this is my excuse. Um, I only run two Gorilla at a time. I like three Gorilla, but I realize that. Um, this reminds me of, like, Heroes, in a sense, because they're very control-based, so I never really, so I don't think I need three Gorilla, I think two's fine, there's never been a time where I'm like, oh, I want to top the Gorilla for his effect, um, double Rescue Rabbit, because he's Rescue Rabbit, and the consistency with the Rabbit just helps this deck a lot, and what, no, what a lot of people don't really do, but what I do is I run Triple Ninken Dog, and I run no other Vanillas, like, I know people run Voice Raider, over or gene warp but the reason why i run the ninken dog over the over the other possible vanillas is purely just because um like first turn rabbit is rabbit you're gonna go into the tiger king first turn like no matter what so there's that so that, that's the point of the vanillas in the first place but mid game rabbit there's times where i want to go into this guy lightning jidori now lightning jidori is a really good card this format to be able to go mid game top decking into a rabbit um so yeah, that's really the only reason I run Nink and Dog. I mean, I don't really think I need Force Raider for the for the deck Debbie. I mean, he's not it's not that worth it this format anyway. And I only made one dragon just because dragon's good, but I don't think I ever really need his effect. It's rare that I want his effect. Um, so that's thirteen monsters I think. So spells is triple tanky because it's tanky. Um, double duality because helps with consistency with the deck. Um, double lance. Um, Lance is amazing in this deck. I'm, I'm really, really, really considering running three Lance. I don't know if I should, but, uh, I don't know. Yeah, Lance. Um, double Tensu. Um, there's never a time where I think I need three Tensu. A lot of times I, like, I dead draw into it, or, like, I want to side it out. But last time I side it out, it cost me the game, so I'm never siding out Tensu again. <laughs> um... And yes, I main double D fissure. Now you're probably thinking that I copied Star Strike Duelist, but Star Strike Duelist, Sam, is actually a very good friend of mine. And if you saw her deck profile, you'll know that she mains this because of me. Like I don't I'm not trying to sound cocky or that she copied me, but like um remember I was talking to her last time and I told her, Oh yeah, I'm we're making fire fists and I I main deck D fissure and she's like, Oh I'm gonna try it out and she tried it out and she made her deck profile with it and that was pretty cool. So yeah. Um Reasons why I main D fissures because the water deck is such a big deck right now, and it's like one of the hardest matches for this deck. That like D fissure is just amazing. Dark Roads game one shatters it. Water deck game one shatters it, and hand traps too. Like getting Valored first turn is or getting Valored my my bear getting Valored is annoying, so it avoids the hand traps. And since this deck doesn't really run hand traps in general, I think D fissure is just perfect for this deck. Um, it never really contradicts. The only thing the would contradict would be Gorilla plays, but that's only it only happened once, and I still won regardless. So whatever. Um, and lastly, triple MST. Oh shit. Um, reasons why I run triple MST is because, um, one for winning in this deck is like really amazing because you need to get your plays off because of your lack of monsters. So being able to one for one secure his plays very, 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 very reliable. Um, the Trinity, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, Heavy. Um, now, Heavy is a card that a lot of people tell me not to run. I don't understand why you wouldn't run Heavy in this deck. I think Heavy is just an amazing card in general, and why you wouldn't run it in certain decks just because they need their back row doesn't really make sense, because going first turn Heavy is like, BAM! Auto win, almost. So yeah, Heavy is just heavy. Um, for traps, just um, Double Tensu. I, I didn't want to run the other trap. I don't know what it's called exactly. I keep forgetting. But I didn't want to run it because I think it's too slow because it's only in the main phase. And I think Tencent, even though it's just like a damage step, Axe of Despair, um, it, it works in damage step. And, and later on, he it boosts your monster by 300. So it's pretty good. I like it. I don't know. 
Um, double Mirror Force. A lot of people don't like running Mirror Force, but I like Mirror Force since because... Well, I only run one Torrential, so spoiler, I only run one Torrential. And since I think Master Removal is really good this format, I decided on running two Mirror Force. Even though it's a little slow, it's still good. And, you know, you set the Mirror Force, it goes off, then people are, like, really afraid of the second Mirror Force. But I never bluffed the second Mirror Force because I have it, so, yeah. Um, Double Bottomless because it's probably one of the most broken cards of the format. Double Compulse, um, because Compulse is amazing this format also. Starlight, Judgment, Solemn Morning, and Torrential. Um, yeah, I only run one Torrential because it's a 42 card deck as it is, and I feel like you need to conserve your monsters, so Torrential really isn't needed, but I just like Torrential in general as a card. And Judgment and Warning because they are Judgment and Warning. Now, I'm not going to go into the extra deck because this <laughs> extra deck really is kind of standard because it's just rank fours but the really only cards you need for the extra deck like you really can't win without are just the tiger kings because tiger kings really make the make this deck just amazing summon him get your tanky set activate whatever um and you guys know i run chidori uh really quickly i guess if you guys want to see it it's just it's just this like all this all this random crap um yeah i've never really needed i've only needed to go into dire wolf once so yeah that's my side deck uh, i mean extra deck for side decking i'm not going to show my side deck because that's because that's a surprise. Um, all I really reveal that I side that I'm gonna reveal that side deck is the fossil dinas because I love that you can side in fossil dinas in this deck. A lot of times I will I will side out the rabbit portion and just side in fossil dinas and thunder kings because it's just amazing. This deck can be easily become anti meta. Um, yeah, um, so fossil dinas amazing. Um, again, I guess I'll do it really quickly. This is what I side. All this junk. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, there's supposed to be a second Thunder King. But yeah, um, thank you for watching my video. Uh, this is a really quick video because I haven't made videos in a while, so I thought I'd share my Firefish deck profile. Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe. I know it's kind of weird. I know it's a 42 card deck, but I know Defish is probably not the best card to main, but I've honestly been loving it. Like, there hasn't been a single deck where it's been where it's been dead against. I know you're going to say, like, Insectors and this and this and that, but even against Insectors, like, they go Car Trooper, it's kind of dead. They're Call of Haunted, they're dead. When I kill their Centipede, it's dead. So yeah. Um, thank you for watching, and bye. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, look at that. Oh. Shout out to my friend for getting me Ultramare Force. <laughs>